So we've arrived at the second hotel for our stay in Tenerife. And for me to show you loads of hotels and loads of things going on in Tenerife, today we're at the Gara Suites, which is sort of La Medica Sadeki area, but it's a four star. Let's go check in and see if the room's ready. Let's go. So I've just arrived at the Gara Suites. Now the room's not ready till three o'clock, so I'm having a little mooch around just to see what's going on, to get my bearings, find out where I am. I thought I'd take a little seat at the rep's desk, and this brings back memories of where it all started, when me and Mrs. Travelon were naughty reps working for first choice. This is Jet 2 behind me, so you've got your rep service here. The reception is beautiful. I mean, it's really nice and bright. Can't wait to see the room. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have a little nose around the pool and see what I can see. Reception at the Gara Suites was bright, it was comfortable, there was plenty of places to sit and chill out, and it was really modern as well. And there was loads of stuff happening in this area. Not only did it lead out to the pool, but they had an entertainment area, a games area, and of course the reception itself, and these two guys were really, really helpful. They had a bar there as well inside the reception, and it led out onto the main pool. Now the main pool area was just huge and you can just see the sheer size of this place. The pool was beautiful, everything was modern around and it was early doors so there were no sunbeds being reserved which is always a good sign. I had plenty of time to look around and I will show you all the amenities here in the hotel. There was a spa, a gym, lots of things to do but I had to get up to the top floor to get a bird's eye view of this place to show you how big it is. Now this is just one side of the hotel where the main pool is. There was a little chill out bar on the right hand side. Another side you see with beautiful mountain views and there was also the restaurant area on the other side of the hotel as well. So this place is Big. and there was a mixture of different type of people you had everything from families middle-aged more mature people and also a few party people as well because you are really close to the Las Americas area so it was a bit of a mix and match on what type of clientele this was but let's go and see if I can get in my room so I've got a lovely view of the golf course not that I like or play golf but you can see I've not even opened the door yet Bags are there. This is going to be the first impressions, I'm taking you with me, of the room at the Gara Suites. Let's have a look. Here we go. Let's get in. So as always, you have to put the card in to get the power. And the Lord said, let there be light. And there was. Let's go take a look inside. So I've opened the curtains. First impressions, very basic. Now this cost 101 euros for the night. That was breakfast and evening meal. Now we have got a nice view out the front door of the golf course, but I'm gonna show you the view out there in just a second. So you've got your living area here, sofa, little coffee table, television, and then this is the bedroom. So it looks like a nice comfortable bed. Some storage here with a safe, a few hangers. There's a door there, which I assume is the bathroom. It's not too bad. I would have preferred to have had the TV in here so you can watch TV in bed, but there you go. And then outside, let's have a little look. Right, doors open. Nice breeze come through. There we go. We can see reception from where we are. It's got a nice view of reception. You can sit on here and have a little nose at people coming and going. And the pool is in that direction. Let's go and take a look at the bathroom. So I'm gonna assume that the bathroom is through here. It's okay, it's got everything you need. It's a little bit dated with this floor. You got a toilet. And then there's another door that leads you back out to where you just came through. So all in all, not too impressed with the room. Um, it's okay, it'll do me, I'm not fussy, but it is a little bit old fashioned. What do you think? Let's hope the food's good, that's all I can say. But anyway, I'm here to work, I'm not here to have fun. I've got a little table there, I can sit there and edit my videos, can't I? While looking out 
on that beautiful view. Right, so I've been here at the Garra Suites for a few hours and so far, so good. Now the room could do with being a little bit more modern, but it has everything you need. The beds are very comfortable. I'd like the television in the bedroom so I can sit and watch a bit of telly this evening, but nonetheless, that is fine. And what I love is this huge terrace. Now this balcony is massive, it's huge. There's a big window that opens out from the bedroom and a big window that opens out from the living room as well. And I've got a couple of pigeons that have just joined me for the video. <laughs> so there's loads of birds. You can hear the birds there singing in the trees as well. And I'm looking over essentially the entrance to the hotel. So the views are not great this side, but out the front door, when you come out the front door, you've got that big, beautiful view of the golf course. So that's good. I'm about to head for dinner at the Garra Suites. And I've heard the food here is pretty good. So I'm looking forward to it. Now I'm only gonna go for dinner if you lot come with me. So this is your invitation for four star Gara Sweets dinner. Let's go. Well, I was super impressed with the restaurant. It was decorated so nicely. It looked brand spanking new and so modern as well. The food was just unbelievable with a selection of cheeses, local hams and different cold meat. There was so much to choose from. Now, it was Mexican night. So look at this. Starters, you've got your tacos, you had your nachos, you had everything you could possibly wish for. And I tell you what, I was absolutely starving walking past all this and wondering what I'm going to try first. Everything looked so fresh and well presented and healthy too. There was loads of healthy options on offer and there was some naughty stuff as well. Right then, it's dinner time at the Gara Suites, the four star in Tenerife. Look at this now. They've got a huge selection. I've started with the salad, so I've gone for like a chicken, a chicken sort of salad. They've got a tacos. There's some fajitas up there I saw as well. And there's all sorts of different stuff. Now, we're gonna go for a bit of salad, a bit of meat. We're gonna keep it light to start. Let's see how many plates we can do. So first off, let's dig in to this amazing taco. I'm not sure what's in it actually. A bit of chicken, salad, a bit of sauce. It's absolutely beautiful for hotel food. People are looking at me thinking I'm bloody mad. Right, so let's go for some of this shredded chicken. Looks brilliant. Delicious and mixed with a little bit of homemade coleslaw. That is gorgeous. And we've also got this little lettuce leaf with a bit of jalapeno as well. Nice but spicy. Right, I'm on to plate two and I've actually found the bigger plates because the last one I had was small. Now, typical, they always have the cold meats. So we've got a little bit of chorizo and the ham on. Now look at that. Now it's only the cheap stuff in these hotels. It's not the, the really expensive ham on that you get that's cut off the leg. But regardless, I absolutely love it and everybody goes mad for it. So um, I've got another taco as well because they were so good. And a little bit of fresh bread. So where do we start? A few fingers, but I'm going to dig in and try the chorizo. Really nice. Taco, num taco number two has been done. And we also got these loaded nachos as well with the jalapenos. The hot food looked just as good as the cold with a huge selection of different things that you could try. Meat eater, vegetarian, vegan, there was loads to choose from and fresh fish and meat as well. Look at this big pork loin and this lovely lady was also cooking fresh fajitas right in front of you, which I am definitely going to be diving into. Let's see what I can get on my plate. Right, don't judge me, but it is Mexican night here tonight because we've got a little bit of a mix up. We've got some black beans, we've got some Mexican chicken, We've got some fish in some different Mexican sauces. And I've even chucked some chips on there as well. There's some red beans, there's some chicken, and a fresh fajita. Let's get stuck in. I'm gonna dive straight in with these spicy potatoes just to see how spicy they are. Very good, but not that spicy. And then we've got some black beans as well, look. Mexican black beans. And surprisingly, 
they actually don't look that nice. I didn't really want to try them, but now I'm trying to keep the carbs low, but I did try the pasta just for you, because it was a nice sort of uh, tagliatelle pasta. And that is really good as well. And then you're going to have to excuse fingers here, but if you're going to get a chicken drumstick, there's only one way to do it, isn't there? If you're an animal like me. That is so tasty. Cooked to perfection, falls off the bone. Tell you what, for hotel food, you couldn't go wrong. It's really, really good. I'm really surprised actually. So let's dive in to this freshly made fajita. Now they cook this right on the grill in front of you. So you go up, you tell them what you want, and they put it all together and whack it on your plate. Now I'm gonna roll mine up so I can take a bite of it for the video. That is delicious. Like a Mexican chicken with some peppers, onions, and the tortilla is really soft as well. What else we got? We got a little bit of pork, not too bad, a little bit dry, and we've got two types of fish. If you like a bit of fish, that one's got a bone in it. That's quite nice. And there's another one in a Mexican sauce. Mm, that's a lot better. I'm gonna get the rest of this down, mate, and maybe, just maybe, I'll treat you to dessert. I shouldn't really, should I? Get ready for calorie overload. Well, we start with the fruit because there was a big selection of fruit if you want to stay healthy. But you can see in the background, the sweet stuff is calling you. And I'll tell you what, when you've got a unicorn pink cake and all these different cakes, you're not going to skip dessert, are you? And I tell you, I didn't want to, but I had to have a little selection of stuff. I'm looking a bit nervous because I promised you dessert. Now I've gone half and half. I got some fruit with some melon on this side, but look at that, Jesus. That's gonna put me into a coma, but I'm gonna do it for you. Now I don't need to film myself eating the, um, the fruit, but we've got a little sort of um, mousse dish here, or cream or something. Jeez, that is just a heart attack waiting to happen. It's like a lemon mousse. So we've got one, one of these typical sort of hotel strawberry mousses. But look at this cake. Now I went for that cake because it's got fruit on the top. So I thought it must be a little bit healthier than the rest, but Jesus. This is no good for me. This, this is gonna mean double time in the gym and uh, I'm not meant to eat dairy. But I'm doing it for you because no hotel dinner video would be complete without a dessert, would it? I'm gonna finish with some healthy melon with a little bit of cream on. So that was bre and that was breakfast. But see, I'm losing my mind already. That was dinner at the Gara Suites in Tenerife. Absolutely delicious. 9.5 out of 10. Easy. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe for everything Tenerife and the Canary Islands. See you soon.